I have been uh, very unkind to the to the uh, YPD response yeah, so over the last few days, <laughs> and uh, I, I, dude, I, I fully admit it. I'm not gonna, you know, deny that I, I said those things. Uh, but you know, I think I was voicing a lot of the frustration that a lot of people in town feel, um, and uh, and some of the, the the police officers that I talked to feel. The uh, related to the, the to the size of the gang unit, uh, I have heard rumors that it is not the size that it once was when things were a lot calmer here in Yakima. Is that the case? And if so, what can we do to increase the size of that unit? Yeah, it's I, actually larger than it's ever been right now. Really? Okay. Yeah, there's 11 people right now devoted to the two gang units. Two, 11 people. Okay. I, mean, I, 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 I think we need more gang unit members. I think we need more boots on the ground. We're, I think at night police officers should be sitting outside convenience stores waiting for them to get robbed. Oh, really? <laughs> and then and then not patrolling other neighborhoods? Well, uh, well, no, you should be patrolling, but I don't think there are enough patrols. I know when I drive across town in Yakima, I don't see maybe one cop so would you on a, in a blue moon. When I'm in Richland and I drive down the street, I see five cops. Yes, it's disconcerting seeing the principal at the end of the hallway. Richland is a much different community than Yakima. Yes, but there is a reason, because you see a cop on every corner. No, it's Yes, because, that's exactly why. When you put police on the you ground... You Todd, I didn't come in here to be lectured by someone who doesn't quite know... Don't what make me turn this car about. around. Uh, you know, <laughs> we can patrol areas. If there's problem areas, we can do that. But we can't have a police officer on every street corner. Now, it's extremely difficult to hire police officers in this day and age. We have more patrol out there now than we ever have. Our gang unit right now is... is, 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 is is, has been increased, but you know, at times we have to pull people off of uh, one unit onto another unit because we still have other things going on. We have the Yakima Police Department cannot solve all of the problems that Yakima has. It's going to take more than just increased patrol. It's going to uh, take uh, the community. What can citizens do? Block watches, Crime Stoppers. I know uh, is looking to get their you know, advocacy and awareness out too. What can the, what can average Joe do uh, well, all to help the, all out? All of the above. Um, crime, uh, block watches are, are great. Uh, to yeah, know your right. neighbors, to watch what's going on in your community. I think we need to address it more than just from the law enforcement perspective. We also need to address it before. Parents need to, to be better parents. They need to, uh, you know, you got too many broken people out there raising kids and those troubled kids are out there doing, you know. They Some of them just moved do. into my neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so you want to know the solution to the problem. A lot of those things can be addressed on the front end of it. It's, it's such a complex problem. It's a societal problem.